Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this psychedelic texture in Blender. It kind of looks like oil paints mixing together. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just delete the default cube and the light and the camera. And I'm going to add back in a plane, which I'm just going to scale up a little bit. I'm going to zero out the transforms with Control A and All Transforms. Then I'm going to add another camera back in. Press N to bring up the transformation node here. I'm going to zero out all the rotations here. Switch to the camera view and zoom out so that I can see most of the plane within my camera's field of view. Next thing I'm going to do is just select camera. And down here I'm going to change the lens type from perspective to orthographic and I might just need to zoom out a little bit with the orthographic scale. All right, let's drag up this window here and we'll start configuring the materials. I'm just going to bring up a shader editor window, click on my plane that I've created, add a new material, Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just delete the principled shader and I'm going to add in a texture coordinates node. I'm then going to add a noise texture node, switch it to a 4D and connect the object coordinate to the vector node. Then I'm going to add a mix RGB shader, mix RGB node and connect the object to the second color. Then I'm going to connect the colour from the noise texture into the colour 1 node. Then I'm just going to add a texture mapping node here and I'm going to connect the colour to the first vector input. I'm just going to drag this over to get a bit more space. Then I'm going to add another noise texture, change it to a 4D type and connect the vector from the mapping node into the vector input of the noise texture. Then I'm going to add a hue saturation node. Again, just drag over the material output node again and connect the color to the color of the hue saturation value. Then I'm going to add a diffuse shader node and connect the color from the hue saturation to the color node of the diffuse and then connect it to the material output. So then I'm just going to type in some of the parameters that I found through experimentation. Let's just turn on the render preview so we can see what it looks like as we change some of these parameters. So make sure you've got EV selected as your render engine over here. And you want to go over to your weld uh, texture here and you want to change the color all the way up to white. And we'll just leave the strength for one at the moment. So let's go back to our shader nodes and type in some of these parameters. So the first thing you want to do is change the scale from 5 to 0 0.5. For detail, you want to type in 2, leave it at 2. Roughness, leave it 0 0.5. And the distortion, also leave at 0. For your mix value, I found a value of 0.425 works quite well. Leave all your mapping uh, coordinates the same for now. For your second noise texture, a scale of 5 is good. Detail value leave at 2. Roughness leave at 0.5 and distortion leave at 0. For the hue saturation value node, I'm going to use a hue value of 0.60, saturation value of 4 and we'll type a value of 2. So you can see we're starting to get something that looks pretty similar to what I had in the example. Might just bring the strength down a little bit just to bring out some of that color a bit better. And that's looking pretty good so far. So feel free to adjust some of these parameters to your liking to get an effect that you like. And I generated that oil sort of look by adjusting the uh, W factor, which is sort of the time factor for these noise textures. So if you just drag these up, 
you see you sort of replicate that oil looking or paint look. And you can animate these parameters. If you liked this tutorial and would like to see more like it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.